Okay, what is this? Let's see. Time out, buddy. They are making a PKing NPC? No, we already have those. We have clienters that like are literally NPCs at that point. Let's see. So, okay, these are the PKing updates incoming that they want to add. Let's see what this is. Guys, type R in the chat when you guys are ready. We shall see what this is. Frekaminic PK NPC. Oris arrest is first PK NPC. We, want, we, we, we understand why they're adding this chat because they realize that the wilderness is so dead and they are not making PvP updates that they, they just want to take the easy way out and add an NPC for people to fight. Wilderness City, safe area. City lore. A city of exiled Fagonex who traveled north by sea and built their own city in the deep wild. Boring! Let me tell you what they're doing. They're basically adding a demonic gorilla in the wilderness. And I'm assuming we're going to have to switch attack styles every couple of hits. Which is going to be very easy to kill. This is not going to change anything. And whatever the drop table that's going to be on this is, is going to be bad. Honestly, it is. Like, I don't even know why they're adding... Instead of adding a PKing NPC, why are they not adding PKing updates? Understand? This is not a PKing update. This is absolutely dog shit. Why are we, get, why are we having this? This is not going to change anything. Why are they adding a... What, what is this? There's no way they think, they're thinking about releasing a PKing NPC. Just to make the PKing more active. Somebody wrote, the city is kind of sick, to be honest. We don't care. <laughs> We don't care about that. We don't care how cool or how the graphics look or, or what new city is being added. We care about PvP in general. This is not good for PvP. If anything, they're basically adding a demonic gorilla, switching attack styles probably, attacking you in different ways, and this is something that we don't need. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you how you can make PvP more active, okay? They could, they could host events every Friday, every Monday, every Tuesday. Certain events to make PvP more active, okay? On certain days, all right? There could be a prize pool for each event. Like, uh, winner gets, um, like, even, 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 like, I don't know, bro, like, uh, even, like, stuff like adding Karasi. Like, we all love Karasi. And for all the people that can't protect melee or, or the people, the, the, that, the, the clan men modes that can't protect melee and just run away, that can be added to a weapon, you know, to, for us to have fun with. Um, they should add an incentive for PVMers to PK as well. You know, like, shit like this. Like, uh, I'm just saying shit off the bat. But, like, if you actually took some time to think about PvP and what PvP needs, we, we, we could get some good updates in. But they don't, they don't take time to, to think about stuff like that. We need... We, how, about, how about we get, like, uh, like, like, what this guy just said right here. How about we get a ranked system, huh? I know people can abuse that, but they should add a system just like how Valorant CSGO has global elite, this, this, that, in terms of PKers. And people could strive to become the best rank. You know, like stuff like that. I don't know how they would exactly make it to stop farming and bots and stuff like that. But like, like, like simple stuff, like we're just shooting ideas out there right now. This is not a good idea. Imagine adding an NPC that PKs. We already have those. People that use client, AHK, that's basically NPCs at that point. So this is going to be where the NPC is located and everything. Okay, let's see. One way travel to Relica. Can't travel from Red Light to here. Skull Tyrants who are unable to trade other players here. Skull Island Golden Boss. So there's going to be a, a Skull Island... Skull Golden Boss. This is basically PvP PvM. Does that make sense? PvM for PvP. People are going to come here to most likely PvM these monsters. And then it's going to probably add... It's going to add more clans... More people on Discord calls like Lenny and Roger. Let's let's go attack people, killing these monsters. It's gonna be like a bigger rev cave. You know what I'm saying? If it's actually like that, resource area two doubled or even triple resources with no and okay. So people are gonna come here to abuse the resource area. And what are people gonna do? Chat. They're gonna come in max gear, attack that PVMer. But would that make PVP really more active? Um, you probably find a couple of PKers here. It's basically another rev cave. The way I'm looking at it. Three new bosses. Valko, level 774. Located at Delphi Fire Volcano. Would count towards Red Dragon Task. Higher GP an hour than Vorkath. Get it entrance consisting of coins or KC Moto Combat. Potential drop table TBD. Death Fire Visage. Lava Visage. Vulcan's Bow. Upgrade to Dark Bow. Spews Lava and Applies Burn. This is pretty cool. I like the new update they're adding with the Debo. It's, it's, it's a pretty cool update on, on that end. This boss could be good. 
I mean, it does make more than Vorkath an hour. So it is going to attract way more PVMers to come here and try it. But like I said, boys, this is going to be PVPers attacking PVMers. There's probably going to be a little bit altercations, PVPers versus PVPers, but it's going to be very temporary. It's only going to be in the hype right when it comes out. And then I think it's going to slow down, but this is not bad, honestly. I, I like how they're adding a new weapon that can be added to the Debo, which is kind of cool. They should add a boss that's going to give a very big appeal for PVPers. Like, we don't, we don't really care about an attachment to a Debo, you know? That applies a burn to them, like a poison. You know what I'm saying? PVPers are not going to... But if they see, like, hey, why don't they add a boss? Chat, bear with me. Why don't they add a boss that's like 1 in 15k drop rate that drops VLS? Take out... Actually, no. VLS is already in game. All right, example. Karasi. 1 in 15k drop rate. Right? That they... <coughs> They drop, they drop a Karasi. That is 1 in 15k drop rate. You could obviously buy and sell that weapon, right? This is just an example. It doesn't have to be Karasi. But like a new weapon, right? Imagine how much PVPers are going to go there. Not only PVMers, but PVPers are going to be at that boss trying to kill it. It will be like over 100 people in like every world. Like not 100, I'm over exaggerating. But at least 10 people in every world farming that boss trying to hit that 1 in 15k drop rate to get this new weapon. Doesn't have to be Karasi. But like a new weapon to be added. You know how much PvP will be there every single day? And obviously it's not going to drop it often. That's why I'm saying a high drop rate. Like 1 in 15k or something. Like, 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 like next in the wilderness. You know what I'm saying? Next in the wilderness, so to speak. But a very high drop rate and a new weapon. Preferably I would like Karasi. Because that would bring a, bring a lot of appeal to all PKers. You know, not to PVMers. That's just will be PvP based. PKing quest. This is a safe novice quest. The goal of the quest is to introduce you to the lore of Skelvik, the first city in Galore that has NPCs who are PKers. Your goal in the quest is to help out a young fucking who wants to grow up and become a pair. We'll ask you to visit various locations for information, as well as returning to the Lunar Isle. What is this? A PKing quest? Wow! Wow! We don't need that! First Orceris World Boss. A powerful, corrupted foe has escaped from God Wars Dungeon at level 2500. 60k hit points, spawns at multiple different possible locations. <sighs> spawns at multiple different possible locations. Rough location is announced five minutes before the spawn killing. It will be announced again once the spawn notification will be turned off. Best in slot PvP upgrades to God Wars weapons. Best. Wait. I like this idea so far. But what is it going to drop exactly? What is it dropping? Potential drop table. Best thing. Slot PvP upgrades to God Wars weapons. So it's going to give PvP weapons that compare to God Wars weapons. Is that what it's meaning? Or no? PvP attachment. Okay, it better be a good attachment. Not some bullshit like, oh, it's a kit that will make it look better. So when you kill a Venny, you'll kill him in style. Like, I hope it's nothing like that, bro. Because I'm honestly sick of these kits that they're adding in, bro. Like a fucking Ogius kit that we could kill a Venny in style. Or, or like, a, like a cosmetic, bro. Because like, I hope it's like something... That's going to be act. It says best in slot. Okay, now this is a good idea. I really like this. It'll make PvP way more active. PvPers would want to chase this. And PvMers will definitely come to this event as well. So this is, this is, will be, this would be a very, very good idea for, for, for PvPing for sure. I like this. I like the world boss idea. This is a W. A very big W in my book. Artifact Escort. 10 escorts around the wilderness. Buy artifacts from any of the artifact NPCs. They'll assign you an NPC at random to deliver it into the... What is this, another Pachyak? What am I reading, bro? So reward shop is small safe pouch. Works like a looting bag, but you will not, be, will not be dropped on death. Likewise, you can only stuff out of the bag, out of bank. It can only work in the wilderness. You cannot store stackable items in your safe pouch. Pouch can be upgraded to medium and large. Okay, somebody explain to me in dumb terms what this is and what the pouch does, okay? I am quite the dumb fuck, so whatever I read, I don't attain that information. So who got me and who's going to read it in, in dumb terms? Pouch, make items safe on death. So you, it, what, if you kill somebody, right, you could store those items in that pouch and everything in that pouch will be, will be kept on death or no? Hmm. This will be very good for PVMers though, realistically, not for PVPers, you know what I'm saying? Because usually when you kill somebody in PVP, because of, that, because of that PVP update where they made what you could log out once you killed somebody, 
or like you can't get PJ'd, you'll be fine either way. This is only for PVMers basically because let's say you get like a relic in Revenants and Revenant Caves, you could store that relic in there and then you won't lose it on death. The only idea I like is a first world boss and, uh, and that's about it, honestly. This is probably the best idea they've inserted. Um, th this is the best idea that I've seen in terms of PvP update. Everything else is kind of uh, like, what the fuck is a Frekamin NPC PvP? So we're going to have an NPC that PvPs. That's like another demonic gorilla, but in the, in the non-safe zone. We'll see, though. At least they're trying this time. All right, guys, if you guys are watching this, you know what I'm saying? Click the subscribe button down here. Now, to the video to the left, that is a previous video. You might want to check that out. Fire ass shit in there. And to the right, you're going to have to see for yourself. Make sure you sub them down below. Fizz. I said fizz.